I'm Kat Wood, and although I don't have much of a voice right now, um, music has always been a really important part in my life. Ever since I can remember, I've just loved music. From the time I was really little in preschool, my mom and I used to go to Mommy and Me music classes to learn songs and sing and dance and just have fun with music. In kindergarten and first grade, I had a music teacher named Mr. Hegland, and he was a stern Swedish man with a strong voice and a face to match, and he was kind of scary. Um, I'm a shy girl, but I've always been able to open myself up and really let the music win. Mr. Hegland saw something in me that I really didn't see in myself at that time. He loved my voice. So, given that, he gave me a so many solos. The one I most vividly remember was the Christmas solo where I had to sing We Three Kings. This I remember because it was the first time I performed in front of a large group of people. Although I was terrified, the rush was exhilarating and I couldn't wait to do it again. I was, I'm shy, but music really brings me out of my shell. In second grade, we moved from Chicago, where I'm from, to Oakwood, Ohio, where I had to start over. It just so happens music saved me from my shyness because the music teacher, Mrs. Anderson, really saw potential in me and she gave me a solo. In sixth grade, I tried out for the Hanukkah solo and I really wanted this and it was just so important to me at that time and so we were going to visit my aunt and I was like, oh, perfect opportunity because she is a choir director in Cincinnati for high school. So I take the song and I go to her house and I'm like, Aunt Julie, you got to help me with this. I really want this solo. And lo and behold, it's a Hanukkah solo. <laughs> it was really fun to sing. It was called the, uh, Let the Candles Glow. So she helped me with this. She worked on my technique, and she was kind of like a drill sergeant, actually. Um, really honing my skills and working with me on this solo. And the day comes, I try out, and I got it. I couldn't have been happier. Because this really showed that my music was what was going to help me in the long run and this just I, I couldn't wait to feel that rush again although I had had a couple of other solos earlier in my grade school career the time came and I sang my song and it was a really difficult song to sing and but I did really well um, the people who just remembered it for years afterwards. I still have people coming up to me saying, hey, you were the Hanukkah girl. And I'm like, yes, I'm the Hanukkah girl. So that really made me feel good. And just feeling that rush again and feeling that confidence. Because I'm not that confident usually. And just that explosive feeling of just confidence and like happiness and that rush of performing is just so unbelievable. It made me feel really good, and it gave me the confidence I needed at that time. Um, the time came for another move, and in eighth grade, I moved from Oakwood to MBS, where I was starting over, and my... Music saved me once again. Um, our choir director, Mr. Williams, he's a really cool guy. Um, he's a really good musician. He can play drums, he can play trumpet, he can play just about anything. And my freshman year, I tried out for Dr. Horrible. Now, Dr. Horrible was a play, well, about Dr. Horrible's sing along blog, and I got to be a bad horse rider, 
fan, and snake bite. Getting that exhilarating feeling from performing just never left me. Every time I set foot on that stage, it was just unreal because I just felt the confidence and I had my friends and I met great friends from doing Dr. Horrible. And um, later on that year, I started taking guitar lessons from Mr. Williams because I wanted to learn how to play guitar again. Because when I was younger, I played guitar from the guitar man, Jim McCutcheon. But that was classically trained. So I wanted to learn how to do the more of like the singer-songwriter kind of stuff so I could start writing and performing my own songs because I was so inspired by everything else that I had heard of. So the summer of my freshman year, going into sophomore year, I had started lessons with Mr. Williams, and that summer I wrote my first song called Pensive. Now, the first time I performed that song, I was so nervous because I wasn't sure how people would take my song because I had only performed other people's songs. And when they heard my song and when I heard that applause, it was just unbelievable how amazing that feeling was, just feeling that and that knowing that people liked your prod project and like they liked your creativity and imagination and that's <coughs> what I'm going to take with me for the rest of my life. That feeling of accomplishment and feeling of confidence every time I perform something that I've come up with or every time I perform something that somebody else's work that's just every time I perform I will feel confident and... I will be out of my shell, even if it's just for an instant. It's amazing. It's truly amazing. Thank you for listening.